So here's how I typically remove these sun gear bushings. Take a small chisel like this, and I'll kind of work all around with the hammer on the bushing that's closest to the surface, and that's on, on the side of the, of the gear. So all the way around, I'll support it with this same Miller tool that I mentioned earlier. It's a uh, Miller 990-799. And once it's out, you can use a bushing driver to pop out the other one. Uh, you just want to be real careful. You don't want to chip any gear teeth or, or ruin the gear in any way. Just work your way around it. Doing the best you can to keep the, the gear steady and centered on the uh, tool. And it'll eventually come out. Here looks good, bushings out. All right, so we're gonna press out that other bushing. Leave the gear on the tool. So this one's to be seated about an eighth below flush, eighth of an inch or so. And it's right below the bevel. We're gonna we're gonna drive it in just a little bit more. That's just about right. So on the other side, it's going to go in about twice as far relative to its counterpart, but you need to be mindful of the lube holes because you don't want to cover any of those up with the bushings. So. We'll go ahead and get this installed and then I'm going to be checking it periodically just to make sure that we don't have to come back out with it.
And as always, you want to do your best to get it as centered and square as possible to the bore before you start driving it in. All right, let's check it. So we are a ways away from where we need to be, and we have plenty of travel to go, or plenty of space, I should say, between the bottom of the bushing and those loopholes. Right, it's not obvious on camera. Well, maybe it is from this angle. So there's the lube hole. There's one, two, I think there's two. So I'm good with this. Here's the other one or the other side. And there's a lube hole right below that bushing. All right, we're back at the bench. So slide the sun gear over the output shaft, just making sure that uh, there's no issues with the bushings binding up or whatever. Uh, I mean, this feels fine, goes right on, no problem. All right, get that out of the way, and then we can start putting the sun shell back together, and then we'll put the whole, um, the whole assembly together with the, the two drums, the shell, and the front planet. So basically this is going to be facing the front of the shell and then like I said this uh, splines into the front planet and then this will mesh with the rear planet. Put your thrust washer in place and then just follow up with the uh, retaining ring. These can be a little tricky if your pliers are slightly undersized like these are. But you'll get it. So we're about the sun shell real quick. This is a what's considered a late design sun shell. Um, uh, I'm not sure exactly when they transitioned from the early to the late. But it'll retro back um, to any you know any transmission E4D 4100 that took an earlier shell. The difference primarily is these um, additional cutouts, whereas the earlier shell was more of a U shape. So uh, what these cutouts did is they allowed the um, allowed the designers to eliminate 
the cutouts here in the direct drum as the earlier drum took a four tab washer in this location so they eliminated that and then they um they changed the shell design so that it, you can maintain correct spacing between um, the sun shell and the direct drum when they're engaged. All right, so this is how everything's gonna go. What we're gonna do is we need to put everything together. We'll prep our planet, put the bearings in place, the ring gear. We have the three tab washer that goes in this location here. So we'll put that on first. I mean, you could do this kind of stuff in any order, but. So this bearing faces up. And then this bearing will face down. So you're going to take your forward drum and your front ring gear and you just spline it in. And then mesh your planet. and then install forward drum back into the direct drum. Just being careful. You don't wanna mess, mess up your fingers. And then you're gonna cap it all off with the sun shell. And then once you're ready to put this back, into the case, you're gonna, you know, this is gonna be flipped over with the uh, direct drum and sprag facing upward, and then you're gonna install it with this tool here. Uh, this is an OTC 307-436-1, and it's specifically designed to lower this assembly into the case, assuming the case is vertical. So anyway, uh, let's move on to the rear planet, and then we can start putting things back into the case. So not really a whole lot to do to prep the, the planet itself. We're just basically going to uh, install new thrust washers. The old ones were a, a little bit worn out, a little bit beat. When I go back with these units, I mean, it's not strictly speaking necessary, but I like to replace these. So one on each side. And this planet is ready for installation once we get to that point. 